Why, hello, and thank you so much for joining me. We're jumping into Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. There is some amazing stuff in this game. There's crafting, there's building up a town, and after that, we also have uh, tons of areas we can kind of loot up and get some good stuff, and there's definitely some quests to take care of. So I'm super excited this one. If you guys are enjoying us, again, take time, hit like button, subscribe. We did play a demo, play the prologue. Uh, this is coming out the 29th of February on Steam. If you want to pick it up for yourself, the link's in the description down below. Let's do us run it right into this and get the I'm super excited. I really am. This is a really cool game. We had a lot of fun with this. All right, so tutorial, was it? Food and hydration. Okay, very important. Tutorial, so we need to go over here to the well. Oh, okay, we have uh, some water here we can actually pick up, I guess. There we go. We do? Okay, craft. Oh, right there, off the bat. Perfect, I don't have to go and put anything inside. Nice. Perfect. And I think, actually, if I'm looking right now, am I thirsty? I am super thirsty, so that's going to be important for us to take. So let's... Uh, Let's take a little swig. Swig that down, buddy. I'm gonna, gonna need more than that. <laughs> gonna need more. Also, gonna get more balls and stuff as we go through it, so it's not a big problem. All right, and I guess, can I just do it from here? No, I think I have to put it back up top. Okay, not a problem. We'll put that in our hot bar afterwards. So just take another swig, make sure that is all good and ready to go. We'll have another one on us uh, in case of emergency. Yeah, put it on the seven. Right now we have also a whole, what? The Hood Okay Universal Calling Card of Robin Hood. Decorative element. All right, let's put that up here. Kind of, kind of like to have the hood. Yeah, there in the cow. All right, so we got that. We're good to go. We got our drinks and stuff. Now we have to go and do what? Uh, speak to Friar Tuck. All right, let's go talk to Tuck. I always worry when you're away from home for long, Robin. My good Friar, the sheriff will face death well before I do. Haughty as always, I'm just glad to see you in good health, friend. Don't worry. We're not in danger this time. We're safe here. Nothing I can do after the nightmare that the Crown's men brought on us and our old home. This time they won't run into us. We're well hidden. I saw to that. The previous settlement was so goodly. I know you all too well, you crafty fox. I'm aware you're scheming to fight back. What matters is everyone made it out alive. After I defeated Black Henry and freed Marion, the sheriff completely lost his composure. I must stop the enemy before he becomes too powerful. The enemies, the king and sheriff, don't stop at their own henchmen. You constantly hear about ever more scoundrels plaguing the surroundings of Nottingham. King's allies grow in numbers. Some are bought with land assignment, others threatened with death and confiscations. We must weaken the grip of the king and the sheriff if we are to feel safe here. Definitely, Robin. Recently, little John had his shirt cut. We can't take risks like that. He'll recover. You know him. We each have our crosses to bear. You say so yourself. Well said. You may be right. This settlement seems secure. This time, no one will find us. Time to let an arrow loose right into the beast's heart. I believe you, dear Robin, but before you do that, you must regain your strength. Setting up a new village is exhausting work. Eat something, have a drink, rest in your home. We'll talk later. Very cool, nice. All right, so equipment and inventory. Uh, okay, here, we have to go inside. That's where we actually did this little work here. We checked it out. Looks like we got ourselves some food too. Uh, eat and drink more water. Oh God, I, I kind of overdrank, but we'll, we'll do that. We'll put some food up here, and we'll grab it and eat it. And they want me to, I think I already did the drink, but just fine. Um, what was that again? Seven? All right, yeah, we'll just, we'll go and recraft that up, because, uh, you know, good to have that extra water. Oh, we actually had an extra bottle of water uh, given to us, too. Perfect. All right, so go to sleep in your home and speak to talk. If I remember correctly, my home is right back here. And then we'll build to... Uh, Go and just check out Tuck. There's also stuff inside of here we can open up. There's some goodies we can find throughout this, including food. We have some pine here, some wood, and we have some beech wood. All right, well, we'll grab some of this. I don't know if I should do it right now. I should probably just follow the tutorial, make sure we uh, we get everything we want. We have food inside our place, too. All right, let's hit our bed. Well rested. Very important. Yeah, it's always going to be good. So we have a little checkpoint right here if we want to. We have a free slot to save up. Perfect, and then yeah, we'll go for daylight. All right, looks like we had a good night's sleep. We're not too hungry, not too thirsty. That's good. I don't like that when it goes down. Oh, this is uh, we're gonna come back and look at all stuff here. We got a repair tool, very nice. 
All right, let's go and talk to Tuck and see what it's all about. There's some salt there, I think, there too. Have you already managed to get some rest? Good friend, it'll never cease to amaze me how little sleep you need. This can't be healthy. It's good for you, as long as you have water instead of wine, good friar. I'm not swayed by this. Besides, those who sleep don't sin. <laughs> I'll keep my wine. <laughs> I knew how you'd react. Take it easy, Tuck. Your cask supply is safe. <laughs> I should think so. It's a strategic reserve for a time of crisis. Certainly. Not another word. I take it you slept so well you misplaced your weapon. Where is your bow? This time I didn't lose anything. I broke it during a hunt. We've had so hmm. much work with building a new village that I haven't had time to craft a new one yet. The forest hasn't been kind to us of late. The worst is behind us, however. And now you can take to making your bow in peace. Grab a hatchet and fell a few trees. The wood should suffice for both the bow and the arrows. I have a hemp cord here that should do as a bowstring. That's all the help I need. Thank you, Tuck. I know how much you value your weapon. See to crafting it, but be right back. Our village needs your help. Yeah, that's where it's cool. We're going to be able to build up this village and expand it. I love the look of this. It looks absolutely stunning, by the way. You know if the rain sucks. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. All right, so let's just uh, get rid of the... We'll pick up some of these. We need to pick up pine, too. Now, we have one, I think, from uh, that chest we found over there. Uh, rocks, I think, will come in handy afterwards, too. We're going to need to get, like, a whole bunch of stuff as we progress. So, honestly, I would recommend you to pick up as much as you possibly can. We can put it into our storage area, too. We'll have a village storage for building, too, if not mistaken, uh, which will make our life a lot easier. Uh, the art trade. Press enter to read tutorial. Right here, the art trade. Okay, the villages and towns through the realm. I happily get to buy and sell items in exchange for gold. Every trader has their own special uh, specialization, and we would determine what they can sell. Perfect. Yeah, we got that. Cool. Okay. Go on that, so we can go here. We can trade up with a bunch of these fine people How's here. Day, sir? Good to you, sir. This is mortar. I wonder if that was mortar back there, but we have a whole bunch of stuff. We have tar, paint. Oh, rusty sword. 18 coins. I don't have any money because I give it all away. That's what it is. Bowstrings are 30. Wow. Tuck actually gave me a good amount back there. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, this is, I think, where we plan our village, if not mistaken. It's still the same thing. Okay, so we don't we have a vision or something we can check? Hunter's vision, yeah, R. Gives you, like, a little bit of looks around, that, around the area. There's also a lantern here. Oh, beautiful. And uh, eat a hole to collect all. All right. But the hunter vision, does it also give me, or just, that's all it is, right, for hunting? I thought he also told me where the trees can be place i think we need to get outside the village because this is a lot larger than it was before if i'm not mistaken this area here feels a lot bigger you can build a lot more it looks like it's very nicely put together there's a bridge over here i think there's one that's broken and the other one isn't is there anything around here to pick up pine oh there we go Woo! Oh, I need to get the axe. I forgot completely to pick it up, too. Com <laughs> completely forgot that. I don't know. Do I have a hatchet on me, or did he give it to me? No, he did give it to me. Okay, cool. So let's put that right here for now. I'm pretty sure we had some trees around it. There they go. So once you have this on you, you see how it glows? That is so freaking sweet. Nice to see it, because you don't know which location to hit. Up or whatever you got it right here also appreciate the light on the belt make our life a lot easier okay and then hold to pick all up nice okay i don't know if i can is there a mini game for this oh yeah i think so is that it yeah I think it's really hard, though. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to that. Sure, I'll get used to it very shortly. Okay, there's another one here, too. Gonna craft a bow. We'll craft it up in a second. I'm just going to grab some more because we're going to need it. Boy, the timing of this is uh, tough as nails. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. We'll put this away. 
And it looks like a sunshiny day coming up, which I appreciate too. So let's go back here. We're gonna have to craft ourselves a bow. Now, is that in here? Yes, it is. So it's a makeshift one. So it takes up uh, quite a bit, 10 wood. And uh, so again, the bowstring, which I don't know how to make yet. So we'll take this, we'll move this here. We'll put this down to three. And then we have also, uh, what the, a potion, a bitter tasting substance, okay, quite old. Gives us some health back. That's kind of handy. Put that right there. And we have lard, grease, <laughs> great. A little bit of lard to go, please. No, thanks. All right, so I guess I can turn off my lantern. We're doing pretty good. And uh, craft some arrows up too. Okay. Thank God we picked some up. And yep, craft it up. I'm gonna do another shot. One toy is always good. Oh, we have ourselves a uh, simple sword. Nice. That makes everything so much better. So we got ourselves bow, we got arrow, we got everything else. And then what is it? Speak to Tuck again. And again, we'd have to have where we'll be able to go out and about. It's a little bit of a uh, you know, tutorial and storyline. Good for us to know. Tuck, man, you could trip on this, dude. Is that your wine? I wonder if I. Is this going to tell me if it's bad for me to grab? Like, I, I got Tuck's wine now. I'm sure he's not going to be happy about that. What is this? It is salt. Okay. I was wondering. Cool. With a bow like this, you have nothing to fear. Unless you get on Marion's bad side again by telling her to cook for you. Even the purest steel and holy water wouldn't help you then. Time's long past. We've explained things to each other and agreed I wouldn't make this mistake again. <laughs> uh, speaking of whom, have you seen her anywhere? Be at ease. This time no one lured her into a trap. She left to help the locals. She'll be back sooner or later. That sounds like her. You said you could use my help here? Yes, there are many things we need. Food, most of them all. A better archer couldn't be found in all of Sherwood. Before you set off to take from the rich, perhaps you could use your skills to aid us. I'll gladly try out the new bow. Stoke the fire. We're having a roast tonight. I'll leave the meat in storage. Everyone in the village is working so intensely, a small feast should lift their spirits. All right, so we're going to be hunting deer. And if not mistake, boys, a lot of that map on top, eh? Really a whole lot. Uh, you also have this here, which is Stable Master. If not mistaken, it's fast travel throughout the whole thing. Uh, deer country is all the way here, but they want me to go to this one. Uh, there's some there, too. So, yeah. What's this? Hooded, a hooded hunter. Doe meat. Perfect. So that is where the exclamation mark is. I figure it's the same place as put the marker. Just want to double check that. And yes, it is. So how do I remove this? In case I don't want the same mark, just click on it again. Perfecto. So we got the marker on top there. It also tells us a whole bunch of stuff on top. Like you can go mining. There's places where you can get again, different ores and stuff. So it's really nice. Let's see the sword. No block action. All right, we're going hunting. We're not going, you know, fighting and stuff. Hunting is going to be the best part here. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, is this a... Uh, yeah, pick this up. I'm pretty sure we need this as we progress through this. And I don't know. Can I just do that hunter vision again? I should have done it in front of it. What is this? Moss. Interesting. I don't think I've tried to pick up moss before. That's good. Get all resources we're going to need, most likely. So, yeah, pick it up if you can. And the hunter vision has a cooldown on it. So we'll have to watch out for that. Was there a chest right there, dudes? I mean, I, I just me, or is that something here? Yeah, some some loot. Open barrel. Very nice. Okay. Got ourselves some more lard, and we also have some hair meat. That'll help out for the feast, I'm sure. Oh, there's some guys here. I don't think I... Right away. Right away, we're going to be getting into a fight with these guys. I think we're going to make our way across and hold off a tiny bit. We will go and take care of them, but... Do I have to fight them? Oh, wait a second. I think I might have to fight them. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Looks like I might have to take them out. Not enough of a quiver. Oh, I didn't put the arrows in a freaking quiver. Oh, God. All right. Yeah. 
Now I put on free. You can change up afterwards where it kind of locks into the guy. That's your choice. And you can actually change it as you're playing. Oh, God. Oh, nice move. Nice finale. Oh, dude. Oh, if I wasn't supposed to, it still felt good that we took care of them. What do you drop here? Uh, coins. Yeah, I'll take a couple of coins. Thank you. 18 coins? Really? 25 coins. Boy, I'll be able to buy some stuff after all. I heard some deer behind me, by the way. <laughs> I was going to check their camp out. I can't help myself, you know? You, just, you can't help yourself when you, you see things like this. There we go. We have a, a little bit of uh, barley, and we also have uh, some stone. Nothing great. They didn't, uh, the money is all matters right now. Uh, we could cook up some stuff here. Pretty cool. Roasted hair. Yeah, let's craft that up. Which needed the salt. And roasted dough we don't have. Okay. We're doing okay with food anyways. Let's figure out just, you know, test it out and try it and play it. 25 me. Oh. Shit. Oh, yeah. I need to put my uh, stuff in a quiver. I think I forgot to do that before. Thank you. Wait a second. How do you load your uh, bow here? What's it? Switch arrows. X. There we go. Okay. There's a hunter blind around here, isn't there, though? Okay, crouching is control. We got that. Yeah, there's a hunter's blind right here. It'll make our life a lot easier. That's a monster, too, I think, so we can try and figure that out. Stop prancing around, you little bums. Well, I know he's there, but I think he's behind that big old tree over here, dude. Down! Oh, I thought he was going to go through it. He got stuck. Oh, I hit my wood. Uh, that sounds weird when I said that out loud. Uh, oh, I hit the carcass! <laughs> Did you see him fling? Holy moly. They all went that way. Is there more coming? I gotta try that again. There we go, that was good as the other one. Oh. Damn it. Take some practice. Oh! Oh! Damn, dude. Got some XP for this, too. This is good. Anybody else want to press their way through this? Seems like you might have learned your lesson here. Okay, well, let's go down. A lot of dead pies here. We have to pick this stuff up anyways. Oh, just over the hill. Okay. Got to hide this stuff. I'm, not, I'm looking for uh, meat. There you go. Get my meat. They're fine. They're fine. I'm just picking them up in pieces. I'm going to put them back together. Don't worry. I wonder if the uh, vision is going to help out find this stuff. Yeah, it does kind of ping them. Okay. Oh, there's a whole bunch more coming out, man. What is that? Looks like it's something I could pick up. No. I thought I saw more there, but there's definitely... There's definitely some more around here somewhere. I just don't see it. No, there isn't. Okay. Do I have what I need? No, I have 20. I need another five. Another five to make everything happen. So maybe a little bit more so we can have some for us too. Oh, damn. They are fast, little buggers. Yeah, no, no. Come on. Just need one more. Oh, you are coming back. I think it's right in the rump. Nah. It doesn't look good or what? It looks so good, this game. I think I might be okay here. 
I don't want to spend all day doing this either. We can hunt out afterwards. Just like one more be fantastic, but it's okay. Grab that. There we go. And we took out one here somewhere. There it is. Perfect. All right. We need to deliver 25 to the warehouse. There's another one here. Oh, shit. They're all over the hill, man. There's so many of them. New skill points available. All right. That's got to. Oh, there's a friggin'. That's three. I think I hit it like three or four times now. <laughs> Devastation. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if we can just get some. Uh, I'm going to need to get some more arrows and stuff. Probably got to chop down a tree or two here. Pretty sure these ones here are the choppable ones. So, uh, yeah, let's switch over. Oh, it's a uh, beach. Okay, I see how this goes. Not easy, though. But when you do get it, you feel good. Okay, what are you doing, buddy? I kind of bent over there for a second. Anybody else want some? No? So this is a different kind of wood, though. That was lousy on this one. Don't come into the middle of where I'm chopping. Okay, and what's this again? Beach. I don't think I have very much of this, so. I should give you a little tutorial when I hit this, but I guess I probably popped up and I, I ignored it. I'm pretty sure you have to hit it when it gets green. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Great. A little bit too much shopping for me. I do like I can pick up everything because this foliage is so freaking deep here. It'd be tough to see anything. Thank you. Got to raise a bow a bit more. Uh, we have uh, we have some some stuff here. Where was it? Oh, right here. Cool. So we have some points. Stroke of luck, critical chance. Hunter vision re uh, reactivation time plus uh, minus one. That's really nice. Max health points plus ten. Bow damage plus three. Bow string back. Max weight. Okay. That's actually good too. How many points do I have? Two? Oh, I have actually a lot. And a sword fighter. So I need to go pretty much around the bend here. Almost around the bend. I'm going to need a little more time and deep pockets too, I think, because we're going to have to go pretty deep into this. I'm also going to have to get more sword abilities, which have what here? Fiercer. Special damage increases uh, damage dealt with special sword attacks. Lowers energy cost in attacking with a sword. I like that a lot. We have two more points. I need to go keep that going here. And max health points. No, I'll dig in a little deep there. And what we have here, wood cutting damage increases uh, damage dealt by... You know, I'm going to hold off a little bit and try and get myself up with this. Uh, status resistance plus, okay. Let's do this. Get some health up. Let's, yeah, apply. Oh, no. Okay, so I fixed it all up by the way. I did apply it, too. <laughs> Very important. I also started running down here, and everything's good. I, uh, yeah, it looks like it's somewhere I shouldn't be going right now. Yeah, this looks like it's going... You know what? I have to see it. I have to see what this game has to offer. All right, right now, nothing down here, but there must be... Oh... Okay, is there some kind of trap? Okay, that one locked. Okay. Lock. And not that one. Okay. No. Oh, 
don't make me pick the last one every time. Okay, and that one. Oh, cool. So that, 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 and then this one. Yes! Where did I just open, dude? I just heard something open up. Didn't you guys? Right here? I didn't even see us when it ran past. We got the treasure. I thought it was further down. Uh, we got ourselves some uh, cured eel. We have ourselves some beer. We have uh, cured salmon. Nice. And we have some salt, so we can cook up some more. Uh, gold bracelet. We probably should sell that. Was it a piece of... Just one a small adornment. Okay. Also made with skill. I wonder if it's with the weight. Well, how much value that is behind it, too. We'll probably see when we put it in our inventory. Uh, what? Coarse pouch. Thin, thick, but no ornament in particular value. Oh, just monies. All right, cool. And a journeyman's chest. Basic tools can using a workstation easier. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I should have done that, but I did it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find some more stuff as we go through it. All right, let's deliver the meat to the... Yeah, right here. Excellent. Finally made it back in action. Okay, so 25 dough meat. Oh, we actually have more than that, too. I wonder if I should be keeping that or throwing it in there. I wonder. You know what? Probably a good idea to dump it. So max stack is 25. Ooh. Gotcha. All right, Tuck. I think I did what I had to do. I even brought you more because I just went, like, butt crazy. Saints I was dear. and heavens above, you're back safe and sound, good Robin. Yeah, what's your Allow me to ask, how was the matter of our does? Was your hunt successful? How long have we known each other that you still need to ask? <laughs> My eyes haven't failed me this time either. I just hope that there's enough for everyone. Please, make sure they have a warm meal today. By the blessed mother, of course it shall be done. Well fed and under your leadership, they will soon take up proper work. Hmm. What do you mean by that? The expansion of our settlement, of course. The merry men are starting to run out of breathing room. You are surrounded with many loyal people. Each of them needs a roof over their head. The more houses there are, the more able bodies we have for work. I think I know what you're hinting at, Tuck. Have I become that predictable? Hmm, in that case, I won't beat about the bush. We need wood to construct homes for the village's inhabitants. There's more of us here with each passing day. All right, so now we have to go to pine storage over here and put in uh, 20 and then put also stone inside of it. So let's see if that works out for us. I think we have a majority of that. I want to go back to my chest too and drop off some stuff because I'm like carrying way too much for me. How much do I have of each one of the items here? So cow, I thought I carried, yeah, there we go. So some stone. And we needed uh, some pine and some beach, I think, right? There's a beach. Which one do we need? Oh, we need a pine. Okay. I'm not sure if we need the beach or not. I'm just going to leave it there uh, for a second. And yeah, is that salt there? Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. So I just need a few more pine trees. And I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off. I am a little bit hungry. Not starving, starving. Like I said, the rocks were going to be super important to pick up early on. Oh, you know what? There you go. A little thing of cheese. Oh, there you go. Look at that nice tap. Open this part up. I can switch over a whole lot easier, too, if I want to that way. Uh, chicken. I have one that's cooked here, roasted. And we have a thing of cheese that I just picked up. Where the hell does that look like? A cured salmon. Uh, hunger 25. You know what? Let's just have some salmon. I do love salmon, so. That's all. It did a pretty okay job. And uh, I think I'm going to need to get some water. In a second, so let's uh, drink some water up. Let's keep ourselves uh, nice and ready to go. And craft that. Any more craft? No, currently we don't. We do have multiple crafting. Is this like, sorry, are these things spawn back new stuff all the time? No. Didn't think so. It's okay. It's all good. We even have some bread here if we wanted to. We want to kick it up a little bit more. I have a chest. I think, is that the one over there or this one? So we have one. So this is Robin's chest. And what is this over here? Just extra storage and stuff. I'll just take it all. And what we'll do is we'll place that into here as much as I possibly can here. So do a hide. What is this here? Wine. This one I took from him, right? Health also. Very good. 
And we have some lard. We have uh, chicken. I'm probably going to need to cook up some more. Roasted hair. This one's already cooked up, ready to go. We have some uh, salt. And we have some barley flour. Jeez, a lot of stuff. Garlic. I, I guess we have different recipes we can work on. I'm probably going to want to keep this. So I'm not too sure what it does. The cow can go in there. And, yeah, let's we'll dump the rest of this in here for now. Roasted rabbit. Roast rabbit. Is this where he cooked up? Nice. Barley roll. And we also have some cured eel. Okay, and what's this? A beer for right now? Uh, thirst over time plus... Oh, nice. That gives you some health, too. Not going to say no to that. And apples. And we also have the gold bracelets, which I think we can sell. And repair tools. All right, let's just put that away. Makes me happier. I can actually do some stuff. And I wonder if I can just... Is there trees around here I can chop down? Yeah, there's some around here. Cool. This is pine here. I just thought I saw one. Yeah. That's what I need. I don't know why it turns me around like that, but it's not me it turned. I'm not going with chopping. It just kind of rotates me back from there. That's okay. And there's another one over there, too. Since I don't have very much left, I'm just going to grab these last two. Or well, maybe three. Two. Yeah, these two are okay up here. I wonder if they grow back, though. I was going to soak up my stamina every time I'm doing that, though. Fast. It seems like it's... Would have soaked up my stamina. The guys are getting super quick on those shots. Right here, another one. I get it though. It's like once you start chopping, it just continues chopping, and you just gotta hit those markers unless you walk away from it. So that is it. All right, so how much do I have on me now? I have currently 32. It's pretty good. Could always use more. We'll do one more, or two more here. There's another one next to us. I'm pretty sure because we're going to need more. Oh. There's something to the left there. Do you see it? Looks like maybe some stone or something. Turn on a light here so we can see us <laughs> around the area a tiny bit. Yeah, it looks like there's a possibility there's a mine nearby here or something. Cool. Pick it all up. That's enough for now. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's a, it looks like a, there was one point or something. Or they were chiseling away at something, a building. I don't know. I, I guess we could build out here, too, if we want to. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get back. We're already getting wet anyways. I don't know if we worry about going into the water or not, but we should be okay. Okay, let's put this away. And back up top, we'll drop off those resources. I do like these uh, places up here. Very nice. Okay. All right, so we'll drop off uh, some pine and some more of that, too, if we had to. And pine resin, too. I don't know if that's useful or not. I might just keep it on me. Also, I could sell some stuff I need to. So now we need to go onto this here, manager Village, so we can build some stuff up. Now, the ass is for wood cutting, right? So, no lumber. So, we have house, we have trapper hut, shooting range, training grounds, tavern, furnace, blacksmith, kitchen, alchemy, weaving, quarry, lumber mill, that's what we need, farm, and okay, pavement blocks. Oh, wow. We can make roads and stuff. Okay, it's going to be important for me to place this. <laughs> As well as possible. Insufficient resources. Uh, copper ingot. Lumber mill. I thought we had to build a lumber mill. Let's go back and just double check this. I, I might have uh, just gone a little too quick. Get out of this for a second. Construct a house. Sorry about that. It is a house they want me to build. All right. So another one of these ones here. There's one there we can build. What does it say? Rotate... Right mouse button is a cancel, so that solves that problem. Now, can I hover around these things and check it out? Build, left, right. I know we can go around and pick and select things where we want to place it. I just don't know why I'm not able to do it right now. Again, it's not finished proc. It releases, you know, this week or such, so I might have screwed it up when I did it. So they're okay. They're going to build that up. I think I can leave this. 
Oh my god, I can do it now. Oh, I can hover through this. So before I build, I can do this. Gotcha. Oh, they're going at it, dude. Look at this. Nice. Love that you guys are getting this completed. Tell me how long left. Speak to talk. Beautiful job, dude. Oh, okay. That's what I've, I was afraid of. Don't don't run up with those things. I'm I want to see what it looks like. You know. We can also go up there and check it out. So, jeez, don't have one too many beers, dude. This could be deadly. Is there a door here? This is a house. I don't understand. I thought we could go into these places. I was pretty sure last time we were able to, right? It looks like there is a door right here. This is it here. Yeah, you can see it. All right, well done. Let's go back down and speak to Tuck, the Tuck Master, and see what he has to talk about now and what we need to do. Obviously, we're learning a little more as we're progressing here. How are you doing, Tuck? There you are. I saw the new building a Thank fine you. job. I've always believed that carpentry is an exceptional craft. True. Looks cozy. Now is the time for the people who live there to get to work. Fortunately, none of them expect a free dinner. We have a few tool production specialists here, and if you build a furnace, you will see that for yourself. Tuck, are you trying to use some underhanded ploy to send me out into the woods? God forbid! This time to the quarry. The furnace requires stone. Extract it and watch over the construction. You won't regret it, as we need the tools the furnace provides. All right, looks like a little lightning storm going on here. I wonder if we could tell the time of day. I didn't see that anywhere. It's on top? Oh, positive. All right, to the quarry you go. Uh, redstone. Oh, we got copper right there. They want me to go over here. Yeah, right over here, I guess. Read in the storage. Okay, so we have to do? get read. Yeah, that's all we need. So it's down there to the right. The days seem to be pretty lengthy. The weather changes quite a bit. You're just chillaxing. Enjoy yourself. Good. I'm running around, getting stuff done. <laughs> okay, where are we at now? We're still pretty far down. Man, this map is huge. We will build a fast travel, which is great, like I mentioned before. And fast travel is a thing. What's this? Clay. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Did it give me a stone pickaxe? Okay, good. I was like, wait a second. I don't have a stone pickaxe. Uh, we have some cured salmon there. Okay, that's a pickaxe? Alright. I did increase the weight I could carry, so that's good. Didn't get a ton of it, but I got some. That's good. I don't know if the rest of that rolled or not, but I did press E to hold it. Now, I know we're not here for that, but, you know, while in Rome, Mazel. Do what we need to do, right? Oh. Okay, no, we're not hitting anymore. Perfect. Nice. We got XP going up too for this, so this is always great. Looks like we are going to nightfall, maybe. Maybe we'll ask for clay. I don't know how much clay we're going to need. Alright, good. Pick it up. Also, what I'm worried about is the weight. I just thought of that now, too. How much weight can I carry? 59 to 100. Okay, so, yeah, thanks enough for we have to pick up reeds. We'll pick up the moss, too, because, like I said, I think these are things that are going to be super important for us to have. Well, I guess it's not nightfall after all. We just, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good to just flip back over to a little bit of sunshine. Love it, and we're gonna take this, and we're gonna throw in some reeds. I actually went to got a whole bunch of them, by the way. Here, there we go. So right-click on that, put that in here. We got some sage. We also have some yarrow. I don't know what we're gonna be using those for. I figured I'd pick them up and make it happen. And we got ourselves a couple more rocks. All right, so construct a furnace. We'll follow through with that. 
We have here train, tavern, and so many cool stuff we can make here. There we go, furnace. I guess I want it close to the town as possible. I thought I saw like an opening here somewhere. There we go. Because now we got a house there, so why not have. Oh, we can chop down into. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Get rid of some of this. We're going to need to get uh, <laughs> some work done so far. This. Ah, so much better. Okay, so I can really rotate this stuff too. If I want to, rotate the mouse wheel. We got that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Nice. So the guys just come out here. We dropped any resources. The guys are in here building this stuff up now. I wonder if I can come and help them. Guess not. Nice job, dudes. And we can detract this stuff too. Cool. So we have copper, silver, and bricks we can make here. 381. It costs each and every time we do that? Oh, wow. That is some serious stuff. Where's my monies, by the way? I see that they say 380. There you go. Okay. I saw that they saw it. I was like, where? Where's that money going? On the bottom. By the way, the hunter's thing there, it's uh, if you're looking on the bottom left, there you go. I just saw it there on the bottom left. It's just kind of like now hazy. That's just uh well, they'll tell you when it comes back from there, so you don't have to go look around for it and wait for it or to keep on spamming the button for no reason. All right, let's speak to Tuck. Wonderful, Robin. You've mastered the portion of duties related to managing the village. I never doubted your hunting abilities, but governing a township is an entirely different skill set. As you see, I can manage that too. Ha! Ah, let's hope no roofs fall on anyone's head. I can think of at least one person in Nottingham Castle who could use a roof collapsing on his head. <laughs> Robin, though I do have a similar sentiment towards falling roofs and the sheriff's head. Anyway, listen to me well now. This is a serious matter. So, you know how to be serious. I can, and so should you by now. The village that we're setting up here is only the beginning. You'll see for yourself that in time, we'll learn how to function not as a band of forest outlaws, but as a well-organized community. That's the plan. I'll make it so that the people will live free again, safe from the sheriff's tyranny. Of course, I believe it. Even if I didn't, that would make scarcely a difference with your persistence. What's this about, then? About the people, in fact. For now, those closest to us. You realize we're surrounded by a vast and marvelous land, after all. It is inhabited by various houses, groups, and alliances. It's often the case that they are not quite fond of each other. I'm aware of that, Friar. Try to win the sympathy of at least a few. Show the denizens of this land that not all hope is lost. Having their support means you'll travel the road further ahead with greater confidence. Hmm. Reasonable. Is there something I should start with? Every action taken against the outlaws or the men of King John and the Sheriff is an action that counts to every one of us. When the King's steward looks to take some good person's head, you stop him. When you see a caravan laden with royal gold, I'm sure mm. you see where this is going. I understand. There are, however, Places where exceptionally unsettling things are said to happen. What do you mean? The Barnsdale region is a place where you can find both the King's men as well as bandit ruffians. The sons of Adam and the waved children make up the chief threat there. Apart from them, the local people are bound to accept your aid. They deserve it, and they'll have it. They mean as much to me as the people live in our forest refuge. Very noble of you, dear Robin, as always. I know you believe it, but you must make them believe it too. Some of those people are afraid and just want to survive. Others don't really know what to think at all. 
Convince them with your actions, and the Sheriff's reign will fall faster than you expect. I believe you, Friar. Are there any places I should see? I have two in mind. Would you prefer to hear about mysterious thefts or wolves in a silver mine? Mysterious thefts? Hmm. Sounds like something right up my alley. I don't know much about them, but I've heard tell that traders travelling through Barnsdale are relieved of their riches in a rather crafty manner. Searching for any remaining loot or culprits has been futile. The outlaws? The sheriff? The sheriff wouldn't have bothered to hide anything. Outlaws would have left clues. Talk to Nicholas. He's a cloth merchant and an old friend. He's probably sitting somewhere in a tavern and mourning his loss. Hardly a wonder. I'll speak with him. Maybe I'll learn something. Wolves in the mine. Those wine casks were meant for an emergency, not for a single dinner. Very amusing. Wolves is a moniker given to House de Grey by the locals. You will find Hildewolf Mine to the southeast. It belongs to King John. Hmm. This already sounds interesting. Since recently, though, it's been swarming with de Grey's men. Word is, they took by force, with little regard for the King's law. Is there any chance they'll finish each other off? I do not know what to make of this. On the one hand, they are the enemy of our enemy. On the other, they're known for wars and conflict that they start with nearly everyone they meet. Anything else? The de Grays also dabble in exotic alcohol trade and scheming. I won't deny that the former interests me more than the latter. I can wager a guess. Right now, the most important matter is that the peasants from Hildewolf Mine fell out of the frying pan and into the fire. The boot of their new tyrants weighs heavily on them, and they surely need the help of someone like you. Besides, access to silver may help us arm our people better. I'll look into it. Very cool, man. There's so much to do. I don't know if it's... I mean, again, I have to figure out a night. It's probably right in front of me. And do we have anything? <laughs> I'm looking everywhere. I don't see it. Uh, but anyways, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, there's nighttime. There's, of course, daytime. And we might have to sleep through here. We will check inside of our place. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying us and want to see more of this, hit the like button, subscribe. I'd like to bring you guys a whole bunch more. I'd like to continue going. Uh, we'll have to go and speak to... Uh, I guess this available quest in front of us. He's going to talk to us and send us out somewhere else to go. And there's also the, see the camps over here. Uh, this map is quite extensive. Uh, That's why fast travel is a thing. I don't want that. Nope, thank you. I don't know why it, it clicks on. You see from the, the available quests and clicks on from here too. Very interesting. Anyways, very cool game. Love it. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Put in your wish list. Comes out in February 29th. Right now, that's what's scheduled. And again, this is not the finished product. The only one we release is it'll be... You know, somewhat finished so yeah right now you're just watching the game before it's actually getting the last updates and stuff so very nice thanks again to the dev team thanks for everybody being amazing you guys are the best disgamaged look at you guys on flip side mm -hmm.